we've declared war on Malacca and Bengal, or we've declared war on Bengal and Malacca came in. And as soon as we are done taking their stuff, we'll go over to Bengal. Currently sieging their capital out. Once the capital is done, we'll piece them out and then rush Bangle. This one was. You know what? Let's do something else. Wagadugu has some rebels. Israel. Can go over there. We are dealing with rebellions right now, as we always are. We could win the siege right here. Nope. But once these guys get there, it should increase the siege progress higher. And this guy will go to this army. Take care of the rebels. Our Fulani separatists, that's over in the west, I believe. What's the highest province that they have? Bambuk? It is. Oh yeah, I'm still behind on military tech. I need to hope that that gets up there. What is 24? So we're actually behind on military tech against Bengal right now. Just a little bit, but it's still possibly significant. We will help Spain with their manpower problems, even though we kind of need the manpower right now. Spain can't handle themselves now that we are not distracting the Timrids for them. Our legitimacy is fairly low, which sucks. We've won the siege here. Malacca we'll wants out. We'll see if we can take any of their ships. What? Okay. Um, is that going to go away at the end of the month? That worries me a little bit. Are we still building a ship? I don't think so. Oh, Bengal's over in the Mamluks. That is really, really not where Bengal should be focusing their attention on. Okay, let's bring these guys over to Malacca. And 
and Malacca. Where is Malacca? There we go. Um... You can call in Spain? Do I want to? I don't know if I need to. I mean, relative strength of the alliance... Possibly something to think about. Let's see if we can get some stuff from Malacca right now. Uh, that's not fully annexation, apparently. That is. That is also 45% over extension. Well, I, I'm not going to be taking everything from Bangal. Where's this? Okay, that was the island. Bintan was the island. It's 100% war score. They would agree to it. Bunch of people would want me want to coalition against me. Malacca doesn't won't exist. Mali's not going to exist in a few years. They're tiny. They're one province minor. Air I'm going to destroy. Pasai is relatively small. The Ottomans are the only ones I really have to worry about that. And Palembang same thing or not same thing. Uh same thing as uh Pasai, they're relative. They're smaller than Pasai, actually. Let's go with it. Costs a lot of diplo points, though. But hey, that gives us a very large. Uh... Oh, we're we're ahead of time on. Admin, uh, and Diplotech anyway. Gives us a very, uh, large control of the Malacca node, I think. Current over extension is 45. We need to core something, which we'll be able to do next month. Can we move up through? I tie a no. Do they hate Bengal or something? Well... We could... Nope, I can't even get military access through them. So I guess that means I am going to be... Taking my transports up. Alright, I knew that was coming. Wait, I put the... Leader in charge of the wrong army. Mali Separatists in Joma. can tell they will be. We can take military tech. We're now at the same level as Bangle. Come on, Ayataya. No way you would... Oh, there we... They would give me military access now. For some odd reason. Don't know why they wouldn't before and suddenly now they are. Make that a core. How close are we on being done to uh, with the integration of Holland? 50%. Don't know why I have him and not a statesman. Hmm. 
Let's go with the Statesman instead. Might as well go with a five. And the National Unrest guy. I don't think National Unrest is particularly necessary right now. All of my Unrest is really high anyway. not right. Move those guys right behind those ones. These guys need to follow those ones. And now we slowly move up into Bangle. Where is their capital? That is also the war goal. Gouda. Of course it is. All the way... I mean, it might be better to actually just land troops over here and then... Just storm through their land. Thinking that's the way to go, actually. This is jungle. What is. What are the mammoths looking like? They're about to lose one of the forts. Though I don't know how these guys. Uh, did they land troops over here? I mean, they must have had to to get by the forts, right? Didn't upgrade that one. Might as well upgrade Alexandria while I'm, while I'm over here. So... Might as well do this as well. Oh, now I can get larger forts anyway. upgrade those later, I think. Bangle is in my Indian uh, trade company. Revolt and Joma. Gabu Separatists. How many of them? 15,000? That's not much at all. Air Separatists. Hod. Oh, all the way up there. Everything else looks like it's um, not terribly scary, as far as the rebels go. I mean, none of them were. Let's be honest, 
scary at all compared to the amount of military I could send over. I will take the manpower right now. <clears throat> I'm going to move these ships up to here-ish. Bengal all occupied Rajapur. Yeah, Bangle, go, go take care of that stuff. I don't think we have any forts over there. We just took one of yours, so. Now I think I'm going to have, so they have 61,000 or 62,000 troops over in my land right now, and another 26,000 in uh, the Mamluks. So, let's do this. Peggy okay, still have the same allies? Uh, they've allied Pasai as well. This guy is the one with the siege. need to go here. They have revolutionary rebels that they have to take care of as well. Let's go up by Nan. Alright, come on. It should have you should have retreated with your navy. So now I have two more transports. Wait, wait, wait. I can't land my troops here because of hostile forts? I thought that was the entire point. Oh, I know what's going on. It's gonna suck that we're going right there. Actually, let's go there instead. That way we're not doing a landing. Concern ship rights. Diplo tech cost. Um, I'll take the extra diplo tech cost, I guess. Nothing too bad. of the nobility. Where's El Kabir? That's cloth. I want that to come under it. You know what? I can revoke it later. Also something I haven't done in a while. We have a ton of money. And we can't build any more stock exchanges. I might have gone a little overboard, but uh, 
I don't care. It's not like it's not like we've got anything better to do with our money, right? It's not like we could fund a larger army or navy or Of course, we have no manpower, so the army power might be hard, but... Things are fine. We've won the Siege of Ava. He has to go all the way around there? Or is he just choosing to go around there? I guess it's a choice. We've won the Siege of Valasaur. Before the, uh, we won the siege before Bengal is the target of a coalition of Lanjang and, uh, and Sang. Um, yeah, we won that siege before these guys have even occupied their provinces. Okay, the, so Bengal might be the target of a revolution. If I let that fall to them, fall to the revolutionary rebels. converted. Cool. Uh, Malakan Separatists are already at 80%. We'll bring these armies back down here. Uh, where will they re where the will they rise up at? Kalantan? There's a lot of unrest over there. Luis de Tavares. One of our advisors. Okay, so admin tech cost reduction and a point of stability. Sure. And we're already 64% on that siege progress, which gives us now a straight shot to the capital. is rising up right now. And I should get some extra manpower from professionalism. We get 80,000? I'm going to do that. I think I could have got, gotten uh, some additional levies. No. 17, 25, July. That's fine. Yeah, that's, we're, we're okay. Oh, they rose up in Selangor. It's even wrong about where they would rise up at.
care of her, your evolutionaries, Bangle. We should be thankful. And we have 21% on their capital already. Currently our armies need 40,000 men to reinforce. And Bengal's army is trying to retake one of their forts. We're going to blast their walls. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, it's farmlands. In. Fourteenth of March. These guys will get there on the eleventh of March. So wait four days. Hope for the best. We rolled a four against their three. They have a better general than we do, but we have higher discipline. Reinforcements should be coming. We get increased mercantilism until 1734. And there we go. That's almost, oh, it's almost 2,000 losses for us every day. Almost, they were taking almost 3,000 though. Two that are that have no calf. off for everyone right now. These two I want to one, two, three, four, five. They have taken quite a few losses. Now this army, this army just has eight eight thousand cannon. I think I'm going to send, they have 13, 13 heavies, 25 lights, is that all of their navy? Yes. So I'm going to split off the transports, split the transports in half. Actually on second thought. There we go. So 
So this army is actually going to go home. And this army is going to go with them. And the war will be ended as soon as we send a tree, uh, peace treaty. I hope they let us have all of our claims. Um, anything else that we could get out of them? That's uh, an important center of trade. We could try to surround the Ottoman land. No, that's too much, uh, too much, uh, overextension, but a funny idea. Fifty-six percent overextension. That would put us just over a hundred percent. And we still surrender. If how long until? Our cores are done on Malacca. It's still a pretty long time. I don't want to go above 100 because that's bad. One has silk and the other has spices. I know what I'm going to do. We're taking that. And... I want them to... Think about making them release a nation or something like that. But I'm pretty sure they'll just get eaten by somebody around them. So let's get war operations. Transfer trade power? No, they won't take that. Ah, uh, just a bunch of money then. Let's do it. Now we have 101.6 over extension, but I have a way to deal with that. Um, which one? Arcan. We have one more diplomatic re uh, relation than what we will have after I do this, actually. They will follow the Theravada faith. 
Start with no reforms enacted, but we'll gain your current reform progress and get back all the reform progress spent so far. Okay. And I need to send a change to cancel military access with Ayataya. These guys are already locked into that. Fully reinforced, we need 50,000 men. We have 60,000. We're now under 100%. We're 100% uh, on the overextension. We have a lot of stuff to core, though. And I am actually going to, this is Bengal Delta or something. Take the Navy of Delta to Karak, I guess. I don't think anything else here has unrest right now because recent uprising. Great. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, never mind. I was thinking, take all this army uh, back by land, but that's a bad idea. Won the Battle of Selangor. Don't have to sit on that to take it back because we have a fort right there. Anyway, These guys are there. So this will be Pegu separatists and more Pegu separatists. That'll be Bangle Septus, by the looks of it. I'm going to invest more into becoming the Pope. ships. Take these guys to Egypt, I think. These guys are going back down to Mombasa. Meaning these guys will stay here to defend our newly acquired land. We will have to send a transport group back, I think. Nope, never mind. We'll be fine. If uh, Pegu Separatists rise up, this should rise up in uh, Pathine. When does our truce with them end? 17.30. I want to look into that as soon as I can. Because I'm hoping that the Ottomans will be dealing with some sort of major...
major event in their country and won't be willing to come help them. Nope, the Ottomans would come and help them right now. Oh, I also took Tavoy. Tavoy is also Pegu Separatist. But they should still be rising up in Pathine. But there's something else I need to do. Send diplomats to my own subjects. Keep their opinions high. We now have too many relationships, but uh, that actually takes care of the Bengali claims that we have. So once we have Pegu, we should be able to complete Portuguese Burma, right? by Portugal or non tributary subjects, and that would be everything we have permanent claims on in Pegu, which is everything they have along the coast. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to give Sukhothai back to... I was going to give this land back to Ayatai so that uh, they'd like me a little bit, but hindsight's twenty twenty. Um, It looks like Great Britain's got some uh, Melindian Separatists. So we might not have to fight Great Britain again. Maybe Spain and France have some Separatists too that we don't have to. Actually, these guys should be going into Spain and France's land, right? Tangier's base manpower has increased. Overextension is dangerously high. Only gaining four Diplo points per month right now. We do have two subjects, or no, we have three subjects technically. One we don't plan on integrating ever, the other is in the process of being integrated. And then one we just got, and we will integrate in 10 years. These ships are about to arrive in Egypt. We have more Separatists about to rise up for the time being. separate these guys out just so we're not and of course they're coming my way not going the other I was hoping they would go for Spain and France but no Oh, I can't drill my armies in Mamluk land. Ninety percent on air separatists, hot. Ninety percent on Gabu separatists as well. I'm going to move out in the hopes that they rebel faster. Gabu's already taken care of. Songhai. Bori. All the way up there. Okay. Anyway, uh, 
episode's gone on a little bit long, I know. Uh, but we have our land from Bengal. Now the only thing that should worry me, again, is another war with the Ottomans. But we've defeated them twice. Um, doesn't mean that they're any less scary, so we'll take care of them. Again, in a few years, when's our truce with Pegu end? 1730. So yeah, six years before we can declare war on them. In the meantime, I will probably be declaring war on somebody else, and I have a good idea of who that might be. 